What's up everyone? Pablo aka Shaky D here. Uh, in this video, this is actually my little first channel update video where I'm just going to actually talk about like the games I actually played this past week and uh, my plans that I'm actually going to have, like the games I'm going to actually plan to play next and everything like that. So when I first started out, uh, I started out this, this past Tuesday on Christmas Day and I got like YouTube equipment and like a camera and tripod and all that stuff. I didn't really get any new like video games or like any new new consoles or anything so I kind of still had like the same games and uh, I didn't really get anything for Christmas but just like YouTube equipment so what I played what I did like Tuesday and I actually had a plan was uh, I actually wanted to start off with my Call of Duty 4 footage uh, my multiplayer gameplay of that game but when I uploaded the first two videos they were actually like pixelated and I didn't really know like what happened once I actually went to upload them to YouTube and stuff and then once I uploaded them, I just looked at them and wanted to play the videos back on my, uh, on my computer. They were actually pixelated. So I couldn't actually, I could hear myself actually talking in the video and all that stuff. But I just couldn't actually see what was actually going on during like the gameplay and um, actually what was going on in the screen. And whether I was killing people or not and the people I killed and whether I got killed or not. Unless I could actually see like the red, bright, bright red screen in the background. But I actually kind of hid those. I don't really delete those videos because I kind of noticed that people actually watched those videos even though they were like pixelated. And no one actually commented about like the uh, the pixelation and how the picture looked in the videos. So that was kind of odd. But I'm glad nobody actually commented about that. But I actually didn't, like I said, I didn't delete the videos. But I actually like hid them from my uh, little upload activity. So you guys actually can't see them. But they're still actually there. So I just decided to uh, actually postpone it till like later and actually decided to play it like later during the week. So that's when I actually, uh, the next day, like Wednesday, I actually played some all PlayStation All-Stars online matches. And then I actually did a few matches here and there and then I actually uh, joined in on Dark Side Phil's fan appreciation of, of that game. And I actually got lucky enough to get an invitation from him and actually faced off against him and uh, a couple other fans in a couple matches. Uh, but... I actually played very well in those matches and I did pretty good because I don't really play the game too often and I don't really practice it like that but I was pretty good with uh, I actually got like three wins I think it was but other than that overall I actually still played uh, pretty well and actually managed myself in those games and then next I actually played I actually decided to play um, my very first playthrough, uh, my first video game playthrough here on YouTube, Crash Bandicoot Work for the PlayStation 1. But I actually uh, played it on my old 60 gig PlayStation 3 from back in the day that's actually backwards compatible. I still have that one. And luckily that one has yet to actually crash yet. But uh, hopefully it doesn't actually crash soon, any soon, any soon, anytime soon in the future. So I'm going to have to buy another PlayStation 3 because... If it crashes, I won't have to ask. I won't be able to actually play my PS2 games and my um my PS1 games anymore because I actually have to probably buy a PS2 game, another PS2 system, uh, to actually play my PS2 games and my P uh, PlayStation 1 games on. But I don't know if anybody's actually still selling the PlayStation 2 or anything like that. So hopefully my PlayStation 3 doesn't crash. So after I actually completed my first playthrough of uh, my cra of Crash Bandicoot Warped and like uh. Two days. I played. Uh, I did a couple of videos on um, a Thursday, and then the next day I actually finished the uh, the playthrough on Friday with uh, with the last couple stages uh, facing off against Cortex. And after that playthrough was complete, uh, you are those uh, videos are actually uh, on my channel already set uh, on my channel for actual uh, two separate playlists. Uh, one for PlayStation All-Stars for my PlayStation All-Star videos and one for my little Crash Bandicoot War playthrough which was uh, 24 vids I believe so after I played those I actually decided to actually uh, jump into Call of Duty 4 again and actually try to re-upload the videos because after uh, that past Tuesday, uh, this past Christmas on Tuesday actually after I discovered my videos was like pixelated I just kinda looked at them and I had to I just decided to not upload any more videos because I did my little intro video, which was my very first video uh, that I uploaded to YouTube, and then I decided to do those uh, Call of Duty 4 um, multiplayer matches. But then 
I saw that they were pixelated, but I didn't know really what happened. So I actually took the rest of the day to actually research some information about like what caused it to uh, actually pixelate like the videos, even though they actually looked good on camera when I went to record them. Um, and I actually found out that I had to actually upload it to a, like a higher resolution to YouTube because YouTube actually lowers the quality on the videos, which I didn't know because I'm so new to uh, like the YouTube uh, process and all that stuff. But I actually found out that uh, they actually lowered the quality of my videos, causing them to pixelate because I uh, they actually look good on camera, but I actually had to upload them, re-upload them to a, a higher resolution. Uh, to like 1280 by 720 that's the one the resolution I uploaded to now so the uh, the pictures in my videos and my um, the videos I actually record actually looks much better than they really are now and they're not like no longer pixelated or anything like that so you guys can actually see what's going on, on the screen and everything no matter what game I can play now or whenever no matter what game I actually play or record so I actually took the time to actually find out to fix my uh, videos up and upload them into a, like a higher resolution so they look better so I did a couple matches of uh, a Call of Duty 4 kinda had some good games and a good win streak and did some silly stuff with the knife and then I actually played with the sniper but I actually don't play with the sniper rifle I actually did a video with that gun and uh, the pistol I know uh, like a match or so so I did a couple matches over the weekend, this past weekend, and I uploaded uh, some more last night just to finish uh, finish my little multiplayer footage. But I'll definitely be coming back to that game in the near future, but I actually want to actually get like newer footage on my uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and like games like that. Black Ops 2 and original Black Ops, uh, probably Modern Warfare 3, and I know Modern Warfare 2 is also had, but I might do that also on my uh my power block account instead of my uh my shacky account which is my uh main account but um my stats are not hacked on there so i might play it on uh my shacky d account um so after i did that i actually um uh, put a playlist i actually completed like the playlist and uh actually finished uploading the rest of the videos last night so that's uh pretty much going to be it for like Call of Duty 4 for now but I'll definitely like I said I'll definitely be returning to the game so um, so now I'm just actually recording this video for my little channel update because this is uh, pretty much the video that's all the this is the only video I'm going to actually do today to actually take a break because I got already like 50 videos already uploaded from my little Crash Bandicoot playthrough and my PlayStation All-Stars and my also my uh, my recent Call of Duty 4 matches that I recorded. So I'm actually going to just do this video today for uh, December 30th. And then tomorrow I have some ideas of either playing one of these two games. Uh, either Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube or Super Mario Sunshine. I really haven't really, really like decided which one I wanted to play like first for like a for my little second playthrough. I thought about playing for like, like both of them simultaneously, but um, I do a little bit of Luigi's Mansion and then do a, a, a couple videos for Super Mario Sunshine, but I don't really know which one I want to do first. Um, I haven't really decided yet, but if uh, I think Luigi's Mansion is actually shorter than uh, Super Mario Sunshine because Super Mario Sunshine has a lot of uh, like the sun, the shine sprites that you have to collect in the game, and uh, I could go and try to collect them all, and it's like numerous, numerous, and uh, a lot of levels in the game in total, and I think it's like three separate stages to like Luigi's Mansion with like a total of I think, um, I think it was three bosses on Luigi's Mansion, so I think I could speed through uh, do a quick playthrough of uh, Luigi's Mansion first, but I may start with uh. Super Mario Sunshine first, but I haven't really decided. I'm not going to actually play it on my Wii. I'm actually going to actually try to boot up my old Nintendo GameCube that I actually uh, kept and did not trade in. Unlike uh, most people that actually probably sold theirs or probably got rid of theirs or someone to their friend or whatever or something like that. But I'm actually going to actually try to boot it up on my GameCube because I haven't really played it in like years. And uh, I think it'll be 
a perfect match. I think it's a vacuum sound in the background, but sorry about that. Um, I think I'm going to actually give this a shot to actually play because I think it's going to actually be a a better way and a, uh, a perfect way to actually boot up the games from the uh, old, from the games back in the day from the early 2000s. And Luigi's Mansion and uh, Super Mario Sunshine is actually like two of the best games from uh, for the GameCube next to uh, Zelda Wind Waker and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I think those are the, like the top four games that are actually the best, uh, still the best GameCube games for out, out for it, for the system itself. So I just thought those games might be in my plans. Uh, so tomorrow I might start, on Monday, I might start with uh, Luigi's Mansion or probably Super Mario Sunshine 1 or 2, or I may do a little bit of both. I haven't really decided yet. But that's just the plan for Monday. So I don't know how long it's going to actually take me to actually complete a playthrough of one of the games or whether or not to do both of the games. I haven't really decided yet again. But uh, I'm, it might take me the whole week. But uh, if I do manage to beat Luigi's Mansion in like a, a couple days, like a day or two, I might jump and do a little bit of Super Mario Sunshine. or And then probably over the weekend, I'll probably do some... Uh, like a, it's a video series that I came up with. I might, I thought about just uh doing like a handicap match, just like some handicap matches, and call it like Power Block versus, in the uh the Super Smash Bros. Uh, Super, Super Smash Brothers Bro game, and, uh do like a two on one contest against the uh the computer uh in the uh, on the highest difficulty with uh two characters facing off against me by myself. I might just do like a match or two against that and try to see if I can win because I'm pretty skilled at that game so I might just actually try to do that video series of uh, Pablo versus on the uh, the Super Smash Brothers Brawl game for the, the Wii and that's probably my plan those are my plans for now I may or may not do that uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl like handicap matches against the uh, the computer I might just uh, do like a demo of uh, Record the demo of Nino Kuni for the uh, PlayStation 3 on my PlayStation 3 and uh, record uh, footage of the demo. But those are just pretty much my plans for like this week coming up. So I'm still having some ideas because even though I didn't get any like new games for Christmas, I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna actually want to play. I'm still gonna play those uh, Luigi, like I said, Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine, but. I haven't, although I haven't gotten any, like new games, new video games, or new consoles for Christmas because I asked for just nothing but YouTube equipment. Um, I might just do some other games that are uh, like old PS2 games or maybe another PlayStation 1 game. Or I might just do some uh, like some newer PlayStation 3 games that most people probably didn't like play or actually try to buy. I might actually try to record footage of those. Cause I definitely don't want to. I have mostly like RPGs for my PlayStation 3, but uh, I know those games are super long. Cause you have to actually grind for the levels, and it takes so long. Cause you have to uh, level up to be prepared for like boss fights and everything like that. But those are just like some thoughts that I have for uh, that's coming up this week. And uh, yeah, so I think that's gonna be pretty much gonna be uh, enough to get through the week so tomorrow I'll just be starting uh, on Monday I'll be starting Luigi's Mansion or uh, Super Mario Sunshine or I might just do a little bit of both as I said or might just mix it up but that's pretty much gonna be the week so it'll be either Luigi's Mansion Monday or Super Mario Sunshine and then depending on how long that takes me I might just jump on the next game depending on which one I start with and then over the weekend uh, I might play the Nino Kuni demo or something else like a PS1 game or maybe one of my PlayStation 3 games but that's pretty much going to be it for the week so I hope you guys enjoyed this channel update and I hope you guys are actually enjoying my videos and uh, if you haven't seen like my PlayStation All-Stars matches uh, in my Call of Duty 4 footage check that out on my channel uh, on Pop Block Gaming or my uh, my very first playthrough of Crash Bandicoot Warp, a classic PlayStation uh, PlayStation One game, which is my favorite. So you guys can actually check that out if you want to. And I hope you guys enjoy the footage. And thank you guys for watching this video.